the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Mark. It was two days before the Passover and the festival of unleavened bread. The chief priests and the scribes were looking for a way to arrest Jesus by stealth and kill him, for they said, While he was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, as he sat at the table, a woman came with an alabaster jar of very costly ointment of nard, and she broke open the jar and poured the ointment on his head. But some were there who said to one another in anger, Why was this ointment wasted in this way? For this ointment could have been sold for more than 300 denarii, and the money given to the poor. And the money given to the poor. And they scolded her, but Jesus said, Let her alone, why do you trouble her? She has performed a good service to me. For you always have the poor with you, and you can show kindness to them whenever you wish. For you will not always have me. She has done what she could. She has anointed my body beforehand for its burial. Truly I tell you, wherever the good news is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told to members of her. Then Judas Iscariot, who was one of the twelve, went to the chief priest in order to betray him to them. When they heard it, they were greatly pleased and promised to give him money. So he began to look for an opportunity to betray him. On the first day of unleavened bread, when the Passover lamb was sacrificed, the disciples said to Jesus, I do want us to go and make the preparations for you to eat the pot. So he sent, it. He sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Going to the city, and a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him, and wherever he enters, say to the owner of the house, The teacher asked, Where is my guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? They will show you a large room upstairs, furnished and ready. Make preparation for them. Make preparation for us there. So the disciples set out and went to the city and found everything as he had told them. And they prepared the Passover meal. When it was evening, Jesus came out, came with the twelve. And when they had taken their places and were eating, Jesus said, Surely I tell you, one of you will betray me, one who is eating with me. They began to be distressed and said and to say to him one after another. Surely not I. Jesus said to them, It is one of the twelve, one who is dipping ready to the bowl with me. They went to a place called Gethsemane, and Jesus said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. The hour has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up. Let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. Immediately while he was still immediately, while he was still speaking to Judas, uh, while he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, and with him there was a crowd with swords and club and clubs. From the chief priests, the scribes and the elders. Now the betrayer, now the betrayer has given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. So when he came, he went up to him at once and said, Rabbi, and kissed him. They, they, then they laid hands on him and arrested him asked him again have you no answer say how many charge they bring against you 
But Jesus made no further reply, so that Pilate was amazed. Now, at the festival, he used to release a prisoner for them, anyone for whom they asked. Now a man called Barabbas was in prison with the rebels who had committed murder during the insurrection. So the crowd came and began to ask Pilate to do for them according to his custom. Then he answered them, Do you want me to release for you the king of the Jews? For he realized that it was out of jealousy that this priest had handed him over. But the chief priest stirred up the crowd to have him release Barabbas for them instead. Pilate spoke to them again. Then, what do you wish me to, wi to do with the man you call the king of the Jews? They shouted back. Crucify him. Crucify him. him. Crucify him. Him. Pilate asked them, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Crucify him. Crucify him. Crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas for them. And after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. When it was noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. Then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was turned into two from top to bottom. Now, when the centurion who stood facing him saw that, so that in this way he breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man was God's son. God, the Messiah. There were also women looking on from a distance. Among them was Mary Magdalene, and Mary, the mother of James, the younger, and Joseph, and Salome. These used to follow him and provided for him when he was in Galilee. And there were many other women who had come up with him to Jerusalem. When evening had come, and since it was the day of preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, a respected member of the council, who was also himself waiting expectantly for the kingdom of God, went boldly to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate wondered if he, had, if he were already dead. And summoning the centurion, he asked him whether he had been dead for some time. When he learned from the centurion that he was dead, he granted the body to Joseph. Then Joseph bought a linen cloth and taking down the body, wrapped it in the linen cloth and laid it in a tomb that had been hewn out of rock. Then he then rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, saw where the body was laid. This is the passion of the Lord. of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Amen.